Hi, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and you just purchased the Mila Complete C2 Hard Floor Canister Vacuum Cleaner. Ooh, this is one of our favorite models. So what I'm gonna do in this video for you is I am going to show you what everything is, what you should have in your box, what they are, and then how to assemble it. So stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to use your hard floor. Right, so this is everything that should be included in your vacuum box that you just received. So you should have your canister body, your handle, your wand, your dual function combination flooring attachment, your extra large hard flooring attachment, your hose, and your user manual. If you're wondering where the three specialty cleaning attachments are, don't worry. They're inside the body of your canister. So this little button right below where your um, hose is going to attach is going to house your three specialty cleaning attachments. So make sure everything is present and accounted for. And then I'm gonna show you how to use and assemble your machine and a little bit more in detail about each of the components included. Okay, so now that we've verified that you have all of your contents present and accounted for, if for some reason you don't have something, this is the perfect time to reach out to us, let us know what you're missing. But um, if you have everything that, that you're supposed to have, then now I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about what, sh what each item is and how they're used. So first we're gonna talk about your canister body. So there are six suction settings on your Neela canister, and most often the canisters come on the minimum suction setting. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it all the way to max, and that is gonna be what you're gonna be cleaning your hard flooring surfaces and most all of your carpeting. The only reason you're gonna be turning this down is if you're gonna be doing specialty cleaning or if you have a delicate area rug or carpeting. So the suction settings, if you go from max all the way down to minimum, are you have your hard flooring suction setting, then you go to your area rugs or your carpeting, and then you go to the ear symbol, which is like your ultra quiet mode. If you have any pets that are sensitive to the vacuum sound, or if you want to vacuum while the kids are sleeping, then you do an area rug and a um, upholstered setting. And then a the minimum suction setting is um, has a little drapery symbol. So you can figure out which suction setting that you want for each item um, specific to what you're cleaning. It's a really nice feature. It gives you a lot of control. So again, touching on the suction settings, this is your handle. You can also control your suction via your handle. There's a little slide on your handle and you can open it out. And this is going to decrease the suction that's going to your flooring attachments or the end of your wand if you have it on there. So this is a great way to adjust your suction without having to bend down and turn your dial. So you do also have that option. So if you open this, you're letting out airflow and turning down your suction. And when it's closed, you're gonna have the max suction or whatever suction you have um, set on your canister body. And then your power button is this button, which has the circle with the line through it. That's Mila's power button. Just step on it, you might, or press it pretty hard. It has a, like a soft, quiet start motor, which is really good because it protects the life of your motor. So you will hear a little bit of a lull and then it'll get going. That is perfectly normal. That's gonna keep your vacuum operating for many, many years. Then your other button is your cord winder button. So once you have your vacuum off and your cord is unplugged, then you're going to press your cord winder button and your cord is going to go all the way into the body of your canister, which is great. You don't have to worry about winding a cord anymore. So I touched on this is your handle and this is your metal telescoping wand. And how it telescopes is you're just going to squeeze this sleeve and you're going to extend it or you're going to retract it. And this is going to be how you're going to get up into the cracks and crevices and all those cobwebs um, below furniture, beds. It's really nice. Um, you also adjust that to your height as well or whoever is going to be using it. So these are your two flooring attachments that you that um, come with your machine. This is your dual function combination flooring tool. So this will clean any and all hard flooring surfaces and it will also clean your carpeting um, if you have low pile carpets. So just so you know, this, this um, attachment will only ever clean low pile carpeting or area rugs. And this is also Mila's recommendation for if you have delicate um, carpeting or area rugs that you cannot use a spinning brush roll in. And the reason being is because it doesn't have spinning brush roll. Um, so what you do is you toggle between 
if the bristles are retracted inside the attachment like they are now, this is gonna be how you're gonna clean your carpeted surfaces or your delicate airy rugs, things like that. And then if you press this lever the opposite way, or you can step on it, it'll push out bristles. And these bristles are gonna be what is gonna protect your hard flooring surfaces so you don't scratch or damage them. So bristles out, hard floor, bristles in, anything carpeted. And then your other attachment is your extra large parquet twister hard floor attachment. And as you can see, there's bristles of varied lengths on the underside of this attachment. It's really good at getting into cracks and crevices of hard flooring, really good on tile grout. And it's a dream on pet hair. So all you do now is you simply vacuum all of your hard surfaces and then do a quick mop and you are done. It is great. Big time saver. So this is your hose and that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you also have a um, instruction manual. This model came with Mila's air clean filter and I just want to kind of touch bases on that. This is what the air clean filter looks like. And this is your motor filter. And um, if you want to upgrade to a HEPA or charcoal filter, this machine is completely sealed and you do have that option at any time. So next, I'm going to show you how to open your canister, change your bags and your filters. I'm going to show you where that air clean and motor filter go, and then we're going to assemble and use your machine. So bags and filters. So this is important. How you open your canister is there's this little lever, and I know it doesn't look like a lever, but it does move, and you're going to push that up and then away from you. So this is gonna open the body of your canister. So this is your bag clip. This is what your bag clips into. And we want this bag clip to stay inside the body of the canister. We don't want to rip it out because then you have to buy a new bag clip. So um, the bag clip is supposed to stay inside. The only thing that's gonna be coming out when you're changing your bags is gonna be this little um, collar on the bags. There's no pretty way of taking out your bag. So this is what you, it's the only thing that you're gonna be removing and this, um, bag clip is going to be what stays inside the body of the machine at all times. So there's two filters that are located inside this machine and you have the air clean filter pre-installed and how you access that is you're just going to open this and it's going to house your little air clean filter. This filter you're going to change every four vacuum bags or every one box and then you just slide it in there close it up and then you have one more filter your motor filter it's right here there's a little pull down grate and all you're going to do is you're going to open that grate and then your little spongy filter is going to come out and this is your motor filter and then this as well is going to be changed every four vacuum bags so when you get to the last bag in your box what you're going to do is you're going to change take out your old bag you're going to change both your filters and replace it with a new bag and then you can just throw everything in the box away so you're going to be buying the gn bags that have the blue clip and the blue clip is going to match this clip on the inside of your canister so kind of easy kind of a little bit of foolproof so it's really nice so Two filters, air clean and motor filters. These filters are already included in the genuine boxes and Mila bags that you should be buying for your machine. I promise you genuine bags are the way to go. They're better, they fill up better. They are like little pillows. Look how thick these things are. They're awesome. Um, they actually last longer and they protect your motor. So always buy genuine. Um, and so how you put your bag in, there's little arrows on the bag. I don't know if you can see that. They're gonna match the direction of the arrows on the bag clip. So you're just going to slide your bag in and then you hear that little click, you're good. This is normal. This is not um, meaning that you have too big of a bag. Um, this just means that your vacuum is going to be able to, your bag is going to be able to fill to the full capacity of your full size canister. So um, you're just going to tuck that in and then close it up and then you'll hear a little click. Perfect. All right, so we went over bags and filters, how to change your bags. You take the GN bags, you have two filters, air clean and motor filter. If you upgrade to a HEPA or a charcoal filter, you're not gonna use this air clean filter that's included in the boxes of bags anymore. So that's only if you upgrade to a HEPA filter. If you decide to stay with the filters that come with your machine, just make sure you're changing both of them every four bags. So how we assemble this machine, so you're going to lay it down and 
you're going to attach your hose to the body of your canister. So this larger side is going to clip in to your canister. There's only one way. There's a little indentation on it. You'll know exactly what I'm referring to when you look at it. And then your hose end is going to attach to your handle. Everything clips in. So if you don't hear that clicking sound, it's not all the way in. And then, so this is your handle. And then this is your metal wand. Again, a little clip. And then you're gonna attach your foil attachment. Look at that. So there you go. It's pretty self-explanatory. Hose connects to your handle, connects to your telescoping wand into any flooring attachment. It makes it very, very nice and easy. So another thing that I always like to tell people about and show them is that you have three specialty cleaning attachments inside your canister. And how, what you can do is if you're going to be cleaning like upholstered surfaces or the cars, you can take off your handle from your wand if you don't need that extra length, but you really want that precise cleaning ability, you can attach your, your little cleaning attachments or you can attach your flooring attachments to your wand or to your handle. It's really, really nice. So you can either attach your flooring attachments to the end of your wand or to the base of your handle. So this is really great. So if you have stairs and you want you know, to you know, get in, get a really deep clean or, you know, that's how I do it. I, um, I do the stairs like that. Um, I do the hard flooring attachment to the end of my handle. And then um, when I do cars, I take off the, the wand because I don't need the wand. Um, it's really nice with the upholstery tool. So you have a couple of options. So, just to reiterate, this is the dual function head. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be making sure the bristles are pressed out for hard flooring surfaces and retracted for any carpeted surfaces. If you find that you need an additional carpeting attachment, Mila makes two air-driven carpeting attachments that do have a spinning brushel and you can add those to this machine at any time. So you do have that option. But if you have delicate or wool or silk um, area rugs or carpeting, you really wanna make sure that you're sticking with this um, dual function head as it doesn't have that spinning brushel and it won't damage those fibers. So what I want you to do right now is to kind of process everything that we went over, play around with your machine, assemble it all just like I did, um, and then just start using your machine. Remember, you're supposed to be on max suction when you're vacuuming your hard flooring surfaces. And if you feel like it's really hard to push this dual function head over any area rugs or carpets that you have, try turning the suction down or opening the little lever on your handle. That'll be a really nice... Um, way of figuring out what suction setting that you're supposed to be on for your specific um, carpeting or hard flooring. So if you have any other questions after this video, I know we kind of covered a lot, feel free to reach out to us. We're always available. You can live chat us on our website. We do have that feature. You just click the little um, chat with an expert button or you can email us or you can give us a phone call. We do return all calls um, in the order that were received and all voicemails. So a little fun fact. Um, but if you have anything else, um, just don't ever hesitate to reach out. We're always happy to answer any questions. I hope that you are enjoying your new hard floor canister. It's one of our favorite models and we just wanted to welcome you to the Mila family. Congratulations on your purchase. We're so happy to have you as a customer. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.